so this is very serendipitous because you will be watching this on YouTube and we are with the director of YouTube India, Ishan Chatterjee. Thank you so much for taking up the time Thanks, to do sir. this. So, uh, you know, first of all, uh, this whole conversation that 250 million Indians are going to come online in the next year or so. And for a lot of them, like, they will be the first time they're actually coming online and YouTube will be the digital platform that they go to. So, like, is there a specific strategy that you are sort of aiming for them? Yeah, yeah. it's a really good question. Um, and maybe if I just take you back in time to when we actually launched YouTube in India yeah. 15 years ago, mm -hmm. in 2008. Yeah. See, at the time, the internet was not as... Yeah, if I take you back in time to when YouTube launched in India, yeah. that was 15 years ago in 2008, the internet was not as ubiquitous as it is today. Right. And if you look at YouTube's journey over this period, you know, through the mid-2010s when data prices started dropping, mm -hmm. smartphones started to become more affordable. Right. We saw Indians from all over the country, across tier 2, tier 3 towns, across multiple languages join. Many of them were first-time internet users coming right. onto the platform. And then in the last few years, even through the pandemic, we saw even more users come right. in. This time in different use cases around shorts on the one hand, yeah. connected TV on the other hand. Mm -hmm. And so we've had over our journey mm -hmm. in India so far, a lot of people, first-time internet users coming to uh, onto the internet and onto YouTube. Mm -hmm. And it's a long way of saying that we think that the proposition that we have for the first-time internet user is very strong. If you take a step back, the proposition is we want to be the best place for video, full right. stop. So okay. whether you are after a 15-second clip or a 15-minute VOD, or a 15 hour live stream, mm -hmm. it's available. You want content across different genres, across multiple languages, it's available. And I think that breadth of content, along with the experience that you see across device types, mm -hmm. right. I think will uh, uh, will help us serve the next right. 15 million that come on. And uh, you know, given that India is a mobile first market, so how much does the India strategy sort of uh, you know impact the global strategy and you know vice versa? India is a really important market for YouTube. Right. I think that goes without saying. But to and it and it's a hotbed of innovation for us because the market is so large and in many ways quite different from some of the other global markets uh, that you're referencing. I'll give you a specific example. YouTube Shorts was launched in India first. Okay. And the reason we did it is because India, again, the scale of the market, the number of mobile devices, right. we are a mobile first country. Mm -hmm. And so as a company, we were very keen to see how can we launch the product here, make sure that it works here, get our product market fit right, mm -hmm. and then scale it out across the rest of the world. Right. So that's a good example of a really meaningful part of our product strategy, right. starting in India and then exporting to uh, different parts of the world. Okay, great. And so, uh, you know, but now that this uh, focus is sort of shifting towards, you know, YouTube on TV, like you said, it's, it is sort of like the focal point of a room, so to speak. So, uh, like, are, are there any specific uh, strategies you're using to sort of evangelize that, uh, you know, that shift towards large streams? I think the biggest thing uh, to remember is that this is a long-term secular trend that okay. we are seeing. Um, as, as we just discussed, mm -hmm. I think there are two broad things that are happening. One, technological advancements, cheap data, cheap or more affordable smart TVs, great broadband infrastructure. That shift to connected TV is happening across the board. Mm -hmm. And similarly, at the same time, consumer habits where people are leaning in to control their own journey, you know, on seeking content that's on demand, personalized. Right. I think that's a trend that is driving uh, consumers mm -hmm. in that direction. Now, as YouTube... Um, the connected TV has been our fastest growing surface for the last yeah. five years. Again, so it comes back to our very simple strategy of being the home of everything video. And we think we have a strong proposition for each part mm -hmm. of the stakeholder set or the flywheel that we consider. So if you're a viewer, uh, you have an incredible breadth of content across right. genres, across languages that work on connected TV. Um, we co covered a few examples yeah. uh, yeah, over there. If you are a creator, mm -hmm. we're trying to build product features that help you succeed on right. connected TV. Uh, we're rethinking our core experiences so that right. creators can be successful. Like, um, how do you go and subscribe? Something as yeah. simple as that. Now, mm -hmm. how do we make that easy uh, for a creator right. uh, to, to take to uh, his or her audience? And then finally, for brands, mm -hmm. we think it's a fantastic opportunity to reach uh, audiences that who have shifted already out of traditional TV and are more difficult to reach and the more immersive experience gives you much greater emotional engagement so that's right. another opportunity for brands to uh, to you know uh, engage customers uh, and, and audiences on connected right. TV 
and uh, now if you can switch to YouTube Premium, which is like my favorite service, and uh, my watch trends are slightly disturbing how much time I spend <laughs> on it. Uh, but you know, uh, in a price sensitive market like India, yeah. despite the fact that YouTube Premium is quite, you know, the value proposition is amazing, but for some people, you know, it's still price sensitive. So like, what is that? Uh, like, how are you going to get more and more people to sort of shift yeah. towards that? See, um, on YouTube, we want to make sure that we are building a product and a service that caters to everyone right. in the country. And AVOD uh, and SVOD, as you've just described it, are two twin engines of growth that form a part of our broader monetization strategy. Now, um, AVOD is absolutely the bedrock on which we built our service. Uh, and the reason why we think it's so important is it allows us to allow users to connect with creators and with partners right. and content without any barriers mm -hmm. in terms of payment, etc. And so we are investing incredibly deeply in the AVOD experience itself. Okay. So if you think of YouTube and how it works mm -hmm. across all kinds of mobile devices, yeah. very expensive ones, right to right. entry level ones, all kinds of uh, networks, mm -hmm. whether right. it's even a 2G or a 3G network right down to your broadband yeah. in your home. Uh, we are investing in the UX itself, we're modernizing the UX. Mm -hmm. We're launching specific features on AVOD. So the most recent one that I've used is, you know, uh, bump to hold where you can speed up the video. All that is within the AVOD experience. At the same time, we also see that there's a cohort of users in India who are keen to pay for a feature-rich, ads-free experience. I think you're <laughs> probably one yeah. of them. Um, and, um, you know, that uninterrupted experience itself, along with certain other features like uh, background listening, yeah. downloading, and you also get a full service, a full music service exactly, yeah. with a huge music catalog right. within that same yeah. uh, price proposition. We think that that's a really great mm -hmm. value proposition that we're offering. And we were so excited that earlier this year, we announced 100 million subscribers globally right. on YT and P. Yeah. So uh, it's an area that we're going to continue to invest in. Mm -hmm. But in India, I think that balance, striking that balance is okay. going to be a core part of our strategy. Right. And, um, you know, speaking of, uh, like, so you introduce YouTube Shorts, in, uh, you know, in India as the first market. So, like, when are we getting YouTube TV now? <laughs> uh, uh, look, we don't have any specifics to announce Time on right. YouTube okay. TV okay. just yet. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, suffice to say, as I said before, India is an important market. We're always looking for opportunities to serve our customers, our creators, and our advertisers better. So, uh, you know, uh, watch the space. Love it. All right, great. Thank you so much.